Prepare to die again. The new DLC for Dark Souls 3 titled The Ring City is on the horizon, and Dark Souls fans are ready to don thy armor and venture into the dark abyss once more. But just in case you're ill-prepared for what From Software has in store for you, here are seven things you didn't know about Dark Souls 3 DLC. First, we have your standard dose of DLC. New PvP areas, new arenas, and new bosses, etc. But the Ring City offers a few special treats as well. Number 1. No Fall Damage because the Ring City is a descent down layers of massive foes and obstacles, developers have decided to turn off falling damage, since falling is pretty much the main objective here. It's jarring to fall so far and not have your health bar get affected, but hey, one less thing to die from. Number 2. A Blend of Old and New The Ring City will not only feature some shocking new horrors, but also call back to the series as a whole. As the final Dark Souls edition, the Ring City will mix in some familiarity with all of the twisted new sights. Blending the old with the new is a fitting finale for this beloved series. Number 3. You can skip Ashes of Ariandel. From Software is well aware of fans' reception toward their previous DLC, Ashes of Ariandel, was lukewarm at best. So for those who are eager to jump right into the Ring City without playing Ashes, good news, now you can. Number 4. Transformable Weapons Much similar to Bloodborne, there will be some transformable weapons like the Ring Knight Straight Sword, which transforms into a massive flaming blade, and the Aquamarine Dagger, which can transform from a regular dagger into a rapier. Number 5. Its Length Players were a little discouraged with the length of the aforementioned Ashes of Ariandel. Fear not. From Software promises the length of the Ring City to be more akin to the Bloodborne DLC, The Old Hunters. It will be a long and dangerous trek. Number 6. New Multiplayer Modes Aside from this twisted and exciting new adventure, Ring City offers some new multiplayer modes. These include a 4-player brawl and multiple team battle modes to keep your competitive flame burning. Number 7. It Ties Up the Lore Last but not least, Ring City aims to tie up the lore in a fine ribbon. Questions fans have been wondering about the angelic religion that sparked the war in Lothric will very possibly be answered here. And with all of that exciting information, players can't wait to delve into the Dark Souls version of Dante's Inferno when the Ring City is available to the public March 28th.